G'day viewers, here we go. This video is called Vanishing into Plein Air. Plein Air is French for painting outdoors, like the Impressionists. Later today, we will be painting a couple of landscapes on location. Our plan, our plan is to find some good spots to paint. And uh, take it from me, we're not just vanishing into thin air. Not like this guy. Plein air is different, as you will see. We are going to head east, looking for views of a local landmark, Mount Canopolis. Sit back, relax, and as my grandma once said, lean into those corners. And as my pop would say, you heard that from the horse's mouth. So, let's get outside and see some country. Magic Mungbean, take us away. I'm not sleeping very well My concentration gone to hell I've fallen under some ancient spell Must be the gypsy in you If you're not looking for a game of chance The easy passion of a quick romance Brand new partner for the same old dance that I've got a deal for you. When it's time to pick up the pieces of your latest broken down love affair, somehow inside you know. You don't need permission. Let's fall together and just let go Be my lover, be my life Hold my ego to the fire There's a chance to be your heart's desire And that's all I want to do When it's time to pick up the pieces Of your latest broken down love affair Somehow inside you don't need permission And you owe it to your heart Let's fall together And just let go I'd like to take this opportunity to make a short monologue of explanation for this longish video. So what is this? Well, today is my return to plein air painting after 20 years. That's a long time. Plein air painting isn't easy to do, and so I'll be treating myself like a beginner, and I'll be performing exercises that will help, help me become a better plein air painter in the long run. So, firstly, I'll be uh, limiting the size of the panels that I paint on to 6x8 um, and I'll be limiting the subject matter of my paintings and uh, I'm just painting Mount Canopolis, which is a, a local landmark and um, it's kind of just a variation of a theme. I'll also be working from a limited palette and I'll be doing many of these paintings over the next few months. It's a bit like starting from scratch.
So I found a good spot here along Gap Road near Karkor. I've passed along this road hundreds of times and remember that glimpse of mountain in the distance. What a great place to begin this journey. So I'll just get my stuff set up and we'll get started in a minute. I am so excited that I forgot to move the camera. Sorry about that. I look up and I see a scorpion shaped cloud. I thought. That's got to be a good sign, yeah? So as you can see, setting things up requires a bit of dithering, which I think is part of the process. Taking time and observing makes painting different from other art forms. But not long now, I'll just put some paints out and grab some water from the landing. Practice your whistling while you wait.
are on uh, Pretty Plains Road uh, near East Gorion. Uh, I drove past here a few weeks ago and noticed the view. Um, I've come back, but what I didn't realise is uh, conveniently there's these abandoned driveways, um, well, I guess leading to sub subdivided blocks. Uh, a perfect spot for me to set up, um, which I'll do, and I'll get working. There's a, there's a crazy kind of storm brewing behind me, and uh, I'm not sure if I'll get wet. And it seems to be coming and going at the same time, so I'll just get on with painting and uh, we'll see how we go.
miles and that sunset a ripper. Even travelling home is full of colour and light and beauty. I am so thankful. And I'm just making my way through Orange now and then it's a one hour drive home. With stories to tell of dust storms, boiling clouds, friendly folk along the road and a fly named Ernie who hitched a ride back from Lucknow.